All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Needles at the Ready podcast. This is episode 12. 12. Today is Sunday, June. Nope. It's Saturday, no. June 13th. Yes. We are coming to you from Stratford, Connecticut. I'm Kevin. I'm Ray. We're married. We are. And um, uh, yeah. Yeah. And this is a knitting podcast. It is. Knitting and chit chatting and knitting. All that <laughs> stuff. Crochet sometimes, sometimes yeah. sewing. So it's oh, crafty. Yeah, I it's you crafty. Did some sewing. I, well, I did do some sewing. I haven't yeah. done any well, recently. No, you've no, dropped the I ball haven't. a little bit. Um, hmm. I feel like I've I've called you out on that a few times with yeah. some crafts that you start and just don't finish. That's life. Mm. What are you gonna do? And so, since we never remember to do this, we'll start off by saying. Welcome to all of our returning viewers, and if you're a new viewer, thank you for checking us out. Yes, welcome new viewers. Welcome. Welcome uh, back. I think that's what you meant to say, welcome back. Welcome back. Previous. Previous viewers, viewers. of this highly professional... Yes, we're totally professional. ...YouTube knitting crafting podcast. That's right. <laughs> Which it's so not. Um, but no, thank you. We got a bunch of uh, new subscribers since the last... Yeah. video so we appreciate Absolutely. that um we appreciate you guys coming out hanging out with us every two weeks um so thank you thank you thanks yeah. for all the lovely comments and the likes and the thumbs downs and all that You're so stuff. stupid i love them i know i like them i don't mind them just don't do it no do it do it if you want to i mean it do you for sure right but you know so yeah we're off to a roaring start <clears throat> we sure are hello mom i actually already feel like what that this just has a little bit more energy than last episode so oh so speaking, speaking of, of last episode we did have we have a new microphone uh well not a new microphone it's an old microphone that we've had but we're trying it out with this setup we had a like a a snowball which was really good and it was like literally right here yeah last time but a lot of you had a trouble hearing us so we're trying a different setup um we have a blue Yeti now, which we used to use for our, like Twitch. when we streamed, yeah, when we streamed on Twitch, our video games and stuff. So we'll see how that works out. Hopefully it's not too loud. One then, day we'll figure it out. Maybe on episode like 150. Right. And then we'll we also there. have the ability to increase the volume from 100% to like 125, 150, 200, whatever. So we're going to mess around with it just briefly because, you know, we don't like to edit. Nope. So um, it'll be a quick little tweak to That's make right. sure um, we'll try it at 125%, see if that works for everybody. Yeah. And... Yeah, so that's that. So sorry about the, you know, volume for last week, but it is a little bit disheartening. Like we were gonna take the video down, yes, and then edit it and put it back up again. Yes. But we already had comments. Actually, we did, and people we were already watching it, yeah. and um, it is what it is. So if yeah. you stuck around and you watched it and you had trouble watching it, bonus points if you had trouble Shh. hearing. Thank you. Um, yes, it really did mean a lot that people still. Uh, even with the technical dish, dish issues, dishes, the dish technical, issues, the technical dish issues um, that you kind of stuck around and watched. So yes. thank you very much. And thank you for all those wonderful comments. Absolutely. Really appreciate it. Like always. So how has your two weeks been? I feel like it's been, it's been busy. I has feel it? like, well, somebody had a 40th birthday. God bless him. You see that gray hair right there? That, this isn't even gray. That came out. It's white. <laughs> that came out on Sunday. Yeah, so Kevin had a birthday party. I did. And we had a birthday party, which was really interesting. Well, let's not say a party. We had a get together. Hmm. We had like, with us included, I think we had 13 or 14 people here. Right. We right. social distanced the crap out of our backyard. Yes, we did. We spread out a lot of, you know, the chairs pretty yep. far apart. You can actually check out. I think we posted some stuff on it's Instagram. On I posted the, the setup on Instagram. Yeah. And I think you, in your drunken stupor, made some posts on your stories and i did yeah um, oh that's oh you know why because um heather my sister she had taken some pictures and she had sent me the picture so i just posted a bunch of pictures up on there so like we had our alcohol in different areas from the food yeah. we had the chairs six feet apart mm -hmm. we packaged the um silverware with napkins and little plastic bags so people yeah, so everybody that. could just grab their own little package um, we washed our hands beforehand we had about 12 bottles of a uh, hand sanitizer yep, hand sanitizer i don't know if i posted that picture oh no i don't have my phone with me oh no but that's bad i have to go get it why do you have yours i do okay well we have to do our you know our make along oh. I, we weren't prepared this time we were we not are never prepared. no don't well we were more that, prepared last time i have to say don't you think like i no. had 
Yes. We chose, like, uh, we had you... a winner for our giveaway. True. We had chosen the um, the showcase person from our make-along. Yeah. That's, yeah. About, that's about it. That's as organized. Right. I mean, that's pretty organized compared yeah. to, like, well, what we... I don't have a notebook in front of me. I know. I don't I don't have much no. um, preparation mm -mm. In, for today. But, but yeah, anyway, we did have a lot. We had a lot of hand sanitizer in strategic areas. And yep. then as soon as you walked into our house, we had um, a box of masks and some more hand sanitizer for people to, you know, feel comfortable. We it, had paper, it wasn't... We mm -hmm. had paper towels in the bathroom, so if people didn't want to use the... Towels. Towels. Yeah. You know, it was really towels. about, you know, being safe and just making people feel comfortable, comfortable. and being in their comfort. Because that was the very first time that we actually got together with anybody. Yeah. Um, outside of me seeing people at work, and you haven't, you don't see anybody. Right. That's my first store. social interaction with uh, somebody who's not a cashier. Yeah. Since March, so that that's was not cool. a cashier. That's no, funny. really. If it wasn't, yeah. no, that's a lie. That's actually a lie. So physical, because we've been doing like knit nights and stuff. Mm. So I've been speaking to people. Obviously, true, true, true. But my first in-person social interaction with, mm -hmm. um, of somebody who's not a cashier or yourself since March. Right. And. And our neighbors were outside. Guys. What if they watch? Don't make fun of them. I'm not making fun of them. Our neighbors are very rarely outside. On either side either of us. Either side of us. And we're very close to them. Like, I Not could... close like BFFs, but like physically. Physically our close. Houses we, there's not close. much space between yeah. our houses. Um, and they were both outside. And it threw me off. It still throws me off to this day. I'm like, I haven't seen you for four years. I know. And... It's so true. And now all of a sudden you want to be like out in your yard. I think it's just because everybody's like... Probably sick inside. of being inside. So. Yeah, absolutely. Totally. So speaking of, um, you had mentioned like some virtual knit nights. Like we've been doing that. We had... We had Two. Like, we've had yeah. three since the mm -hmm. last podcast, right? Yep. So yeah. we got invited to uh, by a viewer who um, his local yarn shop does a virtual like knit night was doing it two days a week. Um, it's called A Likely Yarn. Uh, it was her yarn shop. I can't remember exactly where they are. Georgia? I, See, if I had my phone, everything would be great. But I'll maybe we'll put it in the show notes. Um, I shall Google. She gave us like a little virtual tour of her shop, which was really, really beautiful shop. Um, and we just kind of hung out. There were like six of us on the the little Zoom. We just kind of chatted. It was really interesting because, you know, we love to meet new people. Abingdon. Abingdon, Virginia. Abingdon, Virginia. No, not Abingdon. Abingdon. Abingdon, Virginia. And did I not say that right? You said ta, Abingdon. Abing Don. 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 Abing Don. Virginia. On Pecan Street. On Pecan Street. It's a really cute house. Oh, um, oh my gosh. It really it's is. beautiful. Like the porch I would live like, in that wraps house. around. Oh, yeah. Me too. I would. I, it would be very dangerous. They said that there were some houses for sale. Like, or uh, rent or something behind. Yeah, behind. It. And I said that no, because no. that would be very dangerous. They carry Miss Babs yarn, which I've never had tried yeah, Miss Babs, tried but it. I would love to try Miss Babs yarn. One day. Yeah, one day. Oh. So that was fun. And, um, you know, we didn't know any of these people. So it was nice. Um, Caleb. Yeah, uh, you know, one of our viewers and friends of the podcast uh, shot us an invitation. So it's open. She has an open invite, I think. They're going to Saturdays now, which we couldn't do today because obviously we're podcasting. Right. Um, and then Nancy from Trilogy Yarn put together she, a little group. Yeah, and so like this is now the fourth time. I don't maybe. know. Maybe maybe it fourth. all started with Bingo with the Fiber Hustle guys. Yeah. Um, and then we all were kind of like just chatty and socializing, and then Nancy. Wanted to kind of, you know, shut us an invite and said, hey, come to our, or we're having a Zoom. Yeah. You know. And so we did, and, and this is like now the fourth time, and it's just such a good group. And I think we can now call it like our knitting group, which yeah, I think it's is really exciting. Yeah, and it's it, nice to, mm -hmm. to actually knit with other people, even though it's yeah. not in person, but like I've only knit with you in a little bit at um, Knit New Haven. I've gone there a couple have. times, literally just to knit. Yeah. Um, they let you do that. You just like couldn't walk in and sit down and knit absolutely i think that's really cool. i think that's the point like some of the point of the yarn stores is yeah. to go and you know and, and maybe it's just for an hour mm. um you know i remember one time like coming home from work i left work early i was having a bad day i was like i'm going to the yarn store and i went i hung out i shopped and then i knit some um when i got my addies like i sat there i knit on oh. them they let me test them out before i bought my that's set fun. yeah yeah so it's been a lot of fun it, it i like the knit night so it's yeah cool. i feel like the past couple of weeks have been like a little bit more active um, like we've just had things yeah. like going on, you know? Yeah. So, um, um yeah, yeah, that's been the two weeks, I guess. Yeah. That's, that's been the, the gist of it. It's been kind of hot 
some days there's been a lot of freaking fireworks oh yeah there's a ton of fireworks don't like them yeah for Um, no reason just for fun just for the heck of it um you know in the Um, spirit last night was a lot yeah, last I night was a lot. Tonight will probably be a lot too. So, update: Did we talk about our thunder shirt for Tarquin? I think we talked about the thunder shirt fail. We might have. It's a fail, guys. It doesn't work for well, him so well. We're also. It, it might be our fail. Yeah, I think it's partly yeah. ours. I bought the wrong size because mm-hmm. he's like at the end of one size and the beginning of the other. So I went up a. I went to the larger size. Right. I should have gone down the lower side. So size rather. So maybe we'll mm-hmm. try it again. Um, but he is coming down. His come down from like getting stressed out is so much quicker than it used to be. So I, yeah. th- I think I think we're making some progress just with life and him yeah. getting used to it. This being it's almost year, like we're training him for July Fourth. This is like the fifth. I think it's the fifth year that he's heard them. Right. He didn't hear them for. Well, the apartment was pretty much soundproof. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He never heard it in the apartment. So. Yep. Yeah. So that's kind of been our two weeks, right? Yeah, I think so. You know, then just the norms: yeah. work and life that's right. and staying home right and yeah so that's it yeah but not a lot of knitting got done i don't think um oh, maybe. i don't know maybe, i don't know maybe. we'll I th- see i think um i always I, feel like that and then like by the end of a podcast it's like oh crap i don't think like i don't think so but then i do and okay. like this week i'm like eh, i didn't really get much done yeah this so. week i didn't either so yeah all right okay. so i guess we're gonna jump into what fos right so let's talk FOs. knitting let's talk some knitting and yarn guys okay so let's talk fos i have an fo and i have a ho and then i have i mean i guess these are kind of fos right i don't know if you would consider them fos we can we can talk about them we'll talk about them oh i forgot how soft no is. we could talk about them in whips i guess right? all right all right so i have one fo and don't be surprised that that fo is another freaking dishcloth. Yeah, but they're so much fun to work with. They oh, really wow. are. Look how pretty that is. This is I love this. So got so um we bought some dishy multi. Yeah. Well we bought like six skeins of dishy. We sure did. Do so this one on? yeah I do. Oh, yeah you do. So this one is called Kitchenette. Oh I was gonna show that. No go ahead you can show it. I don't know if it... I I love it. I love the bright colors. Like it was exactly what I needed. Like Nice, bright orange yeah. yellows. The white, it just, it's happy. This color way makes me very happy. Me too. So, I i do. I love the pattern. I do the, um, you know, grandma's, Cute. is it gram, grandma's? Grandma's, you have, you do version two. Grandmother's favorite dishcloth version two. Right. Whatever that, whatever And that we do it with no it's in holes. in our show notes. Right, we'll, so we'll size, be. I use my size, my US 7 Addies. Um... You can get two dishcloth of these out of one skein. And this skein's like three bucks, four bucks. Yeah. Right? Yeah, totally. So, but I was trying to do, I started one of Ross's patterns with it. and But you also started that in one of our knit nights where like we were all talking and you, you thought it would be a good idea to start a, something that you've never done before. Right. But I don't know that this, this yarn, oh, and I this see. is, always, and actually this goes back to the start of my knitting. Why I've always um, steered away from like a variegated yarn because you never know how it's going to look, especially in a pattern. Right, 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 right. So sometimes I feel like variegated yarns are really hard to use in a pattern that has texture. Like stockman or um, garter stitch, great, whatever. Mm-hmm. But like a textured pattern. Um, so I took it out and I'm going to redo that whatever pattern it was that I had started from Ross's. I'm going to use it in a solid. Um, so I'm going to try to find a different, different type of pattern like this that lends itself well to yarn that's variegated Mm -hmm. Um, but i love i do i love these um and we're gonna make some for my mother-in-law yeah my mom actually stopped by today oh yeah that was was really nice yeah she sent us a text it was the very first time that i saw her on your birthday right when i went over there to pick up she made some potato salad for us for the picnic which was nice and um I saw her then. It was so, and it's just like awkward because you don't still don't know what to do. But like, she came over after she like went to the dollar store. She's so crafty. She was been like following somebody on YouTube. YouTube. Anyway, we're chatting too much. I think. No, no who cares? No, we're only fourteen minutes yeah, in, and we're please. already at Psh. FOs. Sometimes it takes us twenty minutes to get there. All right, good. And who cares, really? Um. So anyway, so she came over after she like stopped at the dollar store because she found some like dollar craft stuff on YouTube. Yeah. And um, it was nice. We had a cup of coffee with her out on the deck. And the dog love. Oh. Oh. Even he last was so, yeah, he he misses people. He misses them. He really does. I think he does. I think he really yeah. misses people a lot. 
Um, so it was nice. He was like really cute. We were debating whether or not we should keep him outside. This was last week. Last weekend with all the people around, but um, but he did really well. Yeah, yeah, he did really. He well. He slept in the grass for the first time. Like, yeah, it was cute. He's never he was slept in the out. grass. Yeah, or grass rather. Yeah, it was it was cute. It was it was cute. Um, but that's my oh do I do that's my fo. You okay. have an fo? I it's on my head. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So this um this oh. is my. S- that's pretty. Yeah. Wow. Huh. <clears throat> this is my Sockhead Slouch Hat by Kelly McClure. Um, I I think I showed this in the, the podcast before. I, I Look how this is using Amanda Nitz um, in her Fox Farts colorway, which is absolutely was a pleasure to knit. And it was so exciting to realize that like this started striping. Yeah. I, I thought it like looking at it in the skein, I thought it was gonna pool. And I think I only had the like the the ribbing done or yeah. close to being done. Um so wasn't quite sure like if there was some pooling happening or what. And then I was very surprised to see that it was striping. Um I mean on you know, unintentional obviously, but how great are those colors? I wonder yeah. if you can see them. It's really, really good. Can you it's, see them? Kind of. It still does. It reminds me of like day and night. Day and night. Yeah, you said that. Why? Because you have the sun, which is the orange and the yellow. Okay. Right? And then you have the blue and the dark blue. Which is blue, like a twilight. Which is like a night sky. So it just has that feel to me. Huh. So, um, yeah. So, I mean, it's, you know, it's the slouchy hat. I like wearing it like this. Um, and with the brim up. This is like, I feel like... So we're ha- it's like 70 degrees right now outside, which is actually really nice. It's been in the 80s. Beautiful. So this feel this is actually very light on my head when you wear it, you know, not when the, the brim yeah. cuffed up. Um, so that was using Amanda Knits. This is what I have left. Did you bring it up? Um, you had like 50 grams left. Yeah, 51 grams. Oh, here it is right in front of my face. This is living in um, the cutest bag in the world. That's what we're going to forever call this bag. Um, so this is what I have left, 51 grams still. And I made this like, I don't know. I have a lot left. So I think I might do a pair of shorties. First, John. With this. Um, so this is with Amanda Yarn, Amanda Nar- Yarn, Amanda Knits um, in Fox Farts, 7525 Superwash Merino. There you go. There we are. Um, 463 yards, and I have 51 left over. So there's amandanits.com. Amanda Dash. And Amanda.nits.com. Dot com. And then go check just, her out. Yeah. Amazing She's beautiful stuff. colors. She does have beautiful colors. And I she's love just this. starting to dye some more um, and kind of experiment a little bit more. So that's really exciting. Yeah, buy her Fox Farts and Avocado Toast. Oh, my God. I know. I, do we have the Avocado Toast still to show somewhere? It's know. somewhere up there. I somewhere still, up there. I still want to. I think I want to buy more of it for um, a shawl, and I don't remember which one now. Hmm. So that was that's my FO. All right. So now I have a hoe. That's all I have is one that, FO. Yeah, that was my only FO. I do have a hoe though. Mm-hmm. So this hoe. Oh, iced coffee is delicious. I am dying for like a coffee house iced coffee. I know. I want a star. I would take a Starbucks white chocolate mocha frappuccino oh, gonna, or would... i would do a dunkin donuts iced coffee yeah or i could really go for that freaking frozen grasshopper oh that frozen grasshopper at that i that was I mean, the best it was the best coffee shop we there was a have... little coffee shop and it was like a drive through which was amazing no did they have a drive yeah they added a drive through maybe that's right before they turned into dunkin, dunkin donuts yeah but um, i forgot the name of it last it drop l- no yeah it was last drop coffee shop no i thought that was the one in stratford in the green no or in um, the center of town I don't remember what it was called. Know. It's not there anymore. But we used to literally drive yeah, it was just 20 minutes to go get this It was coffee. so good. Yeah, it was really good. All right. So here's my hoe. I love it. Oh, you want a sock blocker? Oh, it's all right. I want one for mine. Boy, we're really not prepared, huh? So this is my Once Upon a Corgi yarn. Color um, base is Marie Cutie. Colorway is Death. And then the... It is, I believe, I have the tag right here. It's Coradale and Nylon. The tag's right here in front of my face. Um, so we have Once Upon a Corgi. 
75% superwash Coradale, 25% nylon, and 100% delicious. Uh, that So that's, yeah, you've so, had this for a while. You've been sitting this yarn for a really long time. So here we go. And then my toe, I actually got really nervous. So oh I measured my yarn and I only had 25 grams left. So I decided to switch over. So I started using this green, which is um, Knit Picks, Stroll Fingering, and Rainforest Heather. Um, so yeah, so this is the Rolls, Rose rather, City. Rose City Rollers by, what's her face? Mara? I mean, what's her face? I, fr I don't have it written down, so I don't remember the name. Everybody knows Rose City Rollers, though, for yeah. the most part. It's in our oh, show yeah. notes. You know what's really cool is that somebody tagged me on Instagram. Um, oh, I saw that. Right? She did the Coffee Talk yeah, socks. Yeah, that was really so cute. cute. You inspired her to do the Coffee Talk socks. They, they, look, came, they came out so amazing. Well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I love it. So I did my heel flap gusset. I'm following. Um, I actually, so I followed it. I think I did an inch and a half of knitting before I did my heel flap and gusset. Did that for eight, 16 rows or 16 repeats of that. Picked up 18 stitches. Used it on a, my Chowgu 2.5 mm -hmm. millimeter needles. And then I knit for eight inches or until I have eight inches from heel to here, which actually worked out pretty well. And I love the color. I think you did a really good job choosing that contrast. I use this on my other sock. Yeah. It's the same stroll that I used on my other pair of long socks that right. I did with the yarn. I do. I love the yarn. It's I love the coloring color of it. This would actually would be another cool yarn, I think, to do the Coffee Talk socks in. Mm. Um, the way that they're... Yeah, because it's up. speckled, but not like overly done. Right. And then what I did for my toe, I actually got this from... I started doing this now with my Wonderland socks from um, Maker's, Maker's Knitting. Knitting. Is I do my decreases until I have 16 stitches mm -hmm. on my needle. And then I do my Kitchener. And it gives me such a better fit on my toe. Just not going down like one of my first pairs had me go down to 12 and then for a while i was doing 14 oh. stitches on each needle you know yes um so then this one and my wonderland socks i did 16 on each needle mm. and it gives me such a better toe yeah it looks and it's much more comfortable oh so yeah, yeah absolutely absolutely so i i just i love it i have um since we're i have it out i cast on the next one good it's very early stages of creation of rolling yeah i've maybe done about four there's a little five. halo on that yeah it definitely has a little halo and i believe it's um number i think it's two reasons i think it might be the Coradale. okay and i believe it's only two ply really does it tell you so that doesn't say i, I don't believe hmm. um so i think the two ply because it's not spun as tightly maybe. it gives you a little bit more of a halo mm -hmm. that's just my um educated guess i could be absolutely wrong it does look like a looser yeah it is it fly. is much looser so i will say though i love this yarn i tend to um and i do this often with yarns and this is one of the reasons i don't like acrylic yarns is i tend to split it so i do find that i split this sometimes so i don't know if it's because mm. it's the twist or the the ply but i will split this yarn sometimes um uh, but yeah so hopefully i'm pretty positive that by the next episode i'll have a full-on be careful what you pair. say because i said that about my stephen westshaw that would be done oh god let's not even so yeah so that's my first so that's my fo's my hoe and then a whip nice i do have another whip but i have i have an almost hoe i think because i didn't weave in the ends oh no it's a hoe it's still a hoe yeah what do, what do you guys think is it still a hoe it's a hoe. you didn't weave in your ends this is um, uh, this is just my a basic sock. Um, there's no pattern that I follow, just a, like a vanilla sock. I did a lot of. Um, is it inside out? No. No. Oh, I see. What? No. Oh. No, I'm just wondering because your end is here. Yes. Yeah, so because I did this, I did a toe up. Um, first time ever doing toe up. Look at the yarn. It's pretty. It really is. It really is pretty. Um, so I did toe up and I did um, 68 stitches around, which fits my, my foot perfectly. 
it's this is on a 2.25 so this is this is my fabric um, I love the fabric it's dense enough um, it fits my foot without it's nice and snug but not like overly snug um, the one and I did a Judy's magic cast on for the toe and I just kind of like followed that um, until I got to my 64 68 stitches I think next time I do this, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna knit the toe a little bit more because like my pinky toe kind of like is down here. Okay. Um, but I also did, and I also I did a fish lips kiss heel, which is the first time that I did did that, um, which was really fun, doing that. Like yeah. seeing like the shaping of the heel without doing any increases or decreases, and you kept the same stitch count. I thought that was really awesome. Um, I did the the leg. I wanted. I wanted shorties, but not like ankle socks. So, and then I did um, a two by two rib there, and I used whose magic bind off or whose? Didn't you use very pink mitts? Yeah. No, I did uh, Judy. No, Judy was the toe. Yeah. There's another. I wish I had my phone. There's another. There's another lady, which you guys are probably screaming at me about, who does... Um, Do you think they're, like, throwing tomatoes at their TV screen? Stretchy bind off. Somebody's stretchy bind off. Yeah, they're throwing things at the TV. Um, the one I thing I don't like is... And it's totally user error. I saw a video about... on is actually it Jenny's? Jenny's, yes. Jenny's Magic Bind Off. And I saw a video by Andrea Mowry when she was doing the, the bind off. And she was doing it... I think she was just showing the bind off. And I liked how she bound it off because she she did it. Let me turn it this way so you don't have to see that. She did it where – let's see if you guys can see that. Uh, not really. There. I know, but and now, it looks now, like an I cord almost. And now um, bring it in. Bind off. Now that it's focused on it. Mm, mm. Technical <laughs> dish. Anyway, um, it, it's a little bit – it's a little bit wonky on my ankle, uh, my leg. Of So next time I do it, I'm going to bind off in pattern. I did not bind off in pattern. I did my two-by-two two rib. Then I knit a row uh, because I like the look of that like I faux I-cord bind off there um, so that I could do it that way. But I think it messed up the, the shaping or whatever. I think, though, and I could be wrong. I maybe believe... a one-by-one one rib would have been better. I believe that a t that's one of the issues that people run into with toe-up socks mm -hmm. is that the cuff is – it's hard to get the cuff tighter yeah. on a bind-off than it is on a cast-on. Mm -hmm. So I, I, think think that's, right. I think that's a typical um, yeah. I mean, it's super stretchy issue. for sure. Right. Uh, and it does come, come back. But do you see like there's like a little bit of a – there's some extra fabric there. I was just thinking like remember Jamie – I love them though. I, yeah, I, I do. I, think I definitely. I, I think they came out great. It's still, that color is just. I love every, the color. It really is yeah. everything. I have not started the second one. I may have second sock syndrome with this one, guys, because I want to do self striping socks. I actually I just, just want to like jump right the in. the same thing. I think I yeah. might, even though I have, um, that on the needles. I think I'm gonna wind up some self striping socks. I think I'm gonna go with my. Um, is it nomadic yarns? Yeah, me have? too. That's kind of what I'm gonna I do. My do. nomadic yarns. Yeah. And I just have to find the color for my heel because i don't know that i have one um a color for it mm -hmm. so i think i might do that yeah yeah i'm gonna do the same so i i think i might put the second sock on hold um i'll let it hang out and simmer in this bag because i do love this bag this is by um um sunny stitch sunny side stitches sunny side sunny, no sunny not, stitch bags we did that last time sunny stitch bags Sunny, sunny stitch backs. Yeah. yeah, sunny side is the how school. I like my eggs. I know we talked about that. And oh, wouldn't a bacon egg and cheese right now be so? It would. Good? <gasps> but let's not talk about it. What? A bacon egg and cheese would be so good with like on a cheese cheeseburger. Ooh. On a cheese, a bacon egg and cheese on a cheese. Yeah, no, like that a, would be an egg on a on a bacon, cheese, bacon cheeseburger. cheeseburger. Yeah. But I would like a bacon egg and cheese, and I would like cheese fries and gravy. Same. Well, get cooking. Maybe we'll what DoorDash. Yeah. Right. You don't want to spend the extra money. No, I don't. I hate doing that. Yeah. Um, You're so cheap. <laughs> no, I'm not. I, no, if we save that money, we get to buy more yarn. Oh, see? See? Look. I Whatever. got it. Um, so what's next? Oh, let me go. I have a whip. This whip 
is Living in Harry Potter, Dumbledore's Army by Twinkle and Twilight. Yeah. This is something that you guys have seen, I've been working on since 1999, it feels <laughs> it's like. It's totally so true. Oh my gosh. All right, so we are showing progress on our Stephen West. Um, am I in the middle of a row? I sure the heck am. Like, it, but I'm right at the end of a row. Oh my god, that yarn looks so thick compared to like. I know. So, what am I doing here? Am I knitting? All right. So, the, you know what? Why don't you show wow, yours? Wow, you have like only twelve stitches left. Well, so I wasn't really going to show mine because I didn't really make any progress on it. And I feel really awful because I said in two weeks I should be able to uh, finish this. Absolutely. Well, we are. I need well, you to do that so that I could so, finish. Yes, I know. So this is my Stephen West shawl. I feel like you've made progress. You've knit on it. You just knit on it the other day. I Well, yeah, but I did like one or, one row. And it's you know what the problem is that it's getting really bunchy. Okay, I did... One, two, three, four rows. Oh, really? Yeah. I thought you worked on it a lot more. No, I only did four rows. That's where I was. My little, little max. There. Um, yeah. You know, it's it's great. It's totally great. The problem is, it's been really hot, and we don't have the air conditioner on in the dining in the living room yet. So to have this like sitting on my lap. Oh, gosh. It, I forgot how nice this was, though. It really is. Yeah, I can't wait to finish this. I have to just hunker down and do it. But it's, like, a little bit warm sitting on my lap without the air conditioning. And this is, like, really wooly, wooly wool. This is uh, Cascade Aegean. Aegean Tweed. I keep, keep, like, don't know where the camera is. It's Aegean right there. Tweed. I know. Thanks. I got it. And um, it's warm. Like, it's it's wooly for sure. So anyway, I, I wasn't going to really show it, but that's it. You guys, just a reminder. Oh, so, you know, we have the knit-along going on, so let's hear it for the boys. This, I know, I forgot. We don't normally yeah. talk about the knit-along I know, stuff we can at talk the beginning. About we'll talk about it like sure. towards the end. Totally. Um, so that's that leads good? me to my Stephen West Boneyard. I love your... Oh, you made a lot. You made progress. Look what I you made. I made progress you on sure this. You sure did. And... Do you know I haven't knit on this since last weekend? Really? I haven't knit on it since last you probably could have been Saturday. Done. So I did all of this, but wow. as you remember, I ripped it out all the way back to here mm -hmm. and then did that. And now I've done all of this. So, and I'm still toying with another slight change in this. Oh. So I'm using, we have Brooklyn Tweed Arbor. Mm -hmm. The orange is Butte. This is... um. A name of a mushroom. Is it shiitake? It's no. very close to that, though, right? It begins, it's shibui. No, no, it's not a shibui nuts. It is... This is making me nervous. This is like hanging down. It's going to fall off your needles. No. Never fear. It Boy, is we are so prepared. Sashiko. Sashiko. I wonder or, what that means. If somebody phone, somebody told up. us. Somebody really? has told us in the past, but I don't remember. Oh. Um, so, yes. And then we have the gray. Oh, my God. Is Anxiety. The... Look at the needle just hanging out. Oh, my God. No, that's not going anywhere. No fear. No oh fear. God. So the gray is the also um, Cascade Aegean Tweed. Yeah, I love that color. I do. I like this. Yeah. So where it's I'm... It's like a bluish gray almost. Sure. Well, in this, in this, it looks... Well, we're dark. No, yeah. it's like on the bluer side. No, and that's it? actually pretty true to color. Yeah. Our lighting's kind of on point this week. I'm not sure. Do no, we, I feel like we feel dark. So what I'm thinking of doing, my... I was going to go gray and orange all the way through, finish with the solid blue section, yeah. and then do my border with the gray. Now, I don't I don't think I'm going to have enough gray to do that, to do orange and gray, and then a gray border. So I believe what I'm going to do is once I'm done with this little bit of my butte, I'm going to add the second skein on, and then I'm going to do orange and blue mm. stripes, and then finish with just the gray border. So I think that's where I'm leaning towards because I, I, I haven't weighed this yet. Like, I didn't think I had a lot, but now I feel like I have a lot. That's how I felt with mine, too. But I I, like... I'm very nervous. I don't yeah. want to run out because I really do. My goal is to end with a gray border. That's how I want to end it. So I nice. need to make sure that I have enough gray to do that. Right. So that's what I might do. I think that's kind of what I'm leaning towards. Okay. Um, and then I have, oh, I have my max stitch marker too yeah 
I should throw Dell on one. Of I them. know. I was just thinking. I'm gonna put Dell on something. What okay. am I gonna work on next? But this oh, is... I I know what I'm gonna use Dell for. Oh yes, I know I what you're gonna use it for you. too now. Did you see I they feel actually like I'm released? Awful close to the microphone. Um, they're Hello? doing. Can you hear me? You're not doing any whisper. Hello. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> they're they. Uh... Oh my god! You almost stabbed me in the eyeball. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe um, when you watch it back. You'll see. I don't watch this. I know. Pack. I was just kidding. Um, Max is releasing a new pattern. He he's looking for testers. Yeah, he's looking it for testers. It looks so cute. It does. It's like a bear. It's is a, it a bear. It is a bear. Yeah. It's a bear. I can't sweater. remember the name. Bear sweater. Bear. Bear necessities. Those simple bear necessities. Isn't that from um, the cartoon version of the Jungle, Jungle Book? Book? Mm-hmm. Right. Forget about your worries. You know that one. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So that's. That's all my whips. Good. That's like, well, no, that's a lot. I have more kind of whips-ish. I don't have anything cast on. Correct. Do I? No. No. Boy. I know. I, I, don't know. I feel like I need more projects. Well, there's always a need for more projects. I think that's I where just, I'm, I'm struggling. F- yeah. With like my knitting mojo is that yeah. I need something. I need something to like breathe new life into me. Mm. Um, I've been looking for a hat. I don't think it's mojo. Like I just, yeah. I'm, I want something. I feel like I'm having, um, maybe it's a season. It could be. You know, like be. this was nice. This was fun to knit because it was, it's like light and small. Um, so it's your sock. Yeah, that's true. You know what I might try to do? What? I might try a nine-inch circular needle. Oh no! Don't please. Gosh, no. I may try it again now no. that I now that I'm more comfortable, and I do love knitting in the round. I think it just gave me a headache. I know, like a stress. I think I, I just got I a tension, know. like a tension headache that went straight yeah. up my spine. Oh. I may I may try it. Well, I'm gonna again. I'm going to leave the house. But I do while. want my, my next project is going to, well, I have two things. Okay. So moving on to, we both have something very similar. Right. Yeah. So this is a, I work in, pro, this is a work in progress. Cause this is a part yeah, of, part the of process yeah. of getting there. Sure. So I really want to cast on my Buceron, uh-huh. um, for our, let's hear it for the boys in it along. Yeah. I, male designer for male. Um, so I've done some swatches. I did swatch number one. Oh on, wow! Look how pretty that's showing up really nice. Yeah, yeah. this is on. It's oh, very. Oh, but that's stretchy, a very stretchy. Right. Well, yeah, very. Yeah, very stretchy this way. Mm-hmm. Not so stretchy this way. Mm. This is on a size six. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a clever this, idea. Can you? I got that from Caleb. Caleb at the Bearded Pearl. Oh yeah. So what Tracy does. Um, from Grocery Girls, Tracy does yarn overs and she leaves, she would have done six yarn overs at the top of this swatch so that she knew that she did a size six needle. Caleb from The Beard of Pearl, he leaves an extra long tail and he does knots. Oh. So I did knots. Clever. I like, I like the idea of the knots. So, Me too. Um, I did that. So this is on the size US6. My gauge is off after blocking. Mm-hmm. I believe I got 18 stitches. I'm supposed to get 21. Okay. So I went down to size five. Mm-hmm. This one again is That's very stretchy. Great. I don't know that I love the fabric. The fabric that this makes. Mm-hmm. This is a much like Denser. this is feel this compared to that though. Oh yeah, right. It's like holding a shape almost. I like this. I like the way that the size six feels. Yeah, this is drape. This is much drapier. Yeah. Yeah. I think that would make an awesome fabric. Well, so, yeah, but you know what? Think about it. Like right now, you you might have summer brain, where like the light, the light. Um, it's almost like a face mask. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> I have summer brain, and that this. Oh, one... that that one might feel better in your brain because it's a lot uh, looser. So, so think about like the winter time or the fall. Are you going to like, what kind of fabric do you want? Right. Like this one, I feel like it's going to be a lot warmer. I feel like this would be that one that like, this one would show every, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, and to be honest, I don't remember. I think I was very close, like maybe 19 or 20 stitches per mm-hmm. inch. So um, now how could you make this fabric, but work for your pattern? I didn't do my swatches in the round though. 
So I believe that if I actually did it in the round, I believe that this size six would be the proper. Really? Because you're a lot looser with your pearls. Because you're looser with your pearls, so mm -hmm. it would have been a little bit tighter. And I wonder if I blocked it too aggressively. Okay. Oh, okay. I see you, what you're saying. Because if you block it too aggressively, your stitches you're stretch making out. So, your uh -huh. stitches. So you less, have... you're going to have less stitches per Correct. inch if you block it aggressively. So I don't know what to do. I now, might is this superwash? Yeah. Yeah. So I may do another swatch in the round with a size six. You should. I, Especially for, like, that's a lot of yarn that it, you're going to use. It is. So, or actually, no, I can't. Um, I was going to say, or I could just take this out and redo this swatch using this six, but then it won't be enough yarn to make it. Mm -hmm. um, so I think, I think that's what I'll do. I don't know. I'm almost at the point where I'm like, I'm just going to cast on. And the reason I say that is I have read some of the comments that people have made. And when they get to the body, which this is the size of the body, the size six, they have found that the body of the sweater can be a little too tight where they've taken oh. it out and they've gone back and re it. So I, I wouldn't hate the fact if the body, if I got a bit of a larger fabric, like I don't want, um, like a suction cup around my stomach. No. Like I would rather have a looser Agreed. fabric. Sure. Um, so I don't know. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. So if anybody has any thoughts, I also thought, do I just re soak this and not block it as aggressively and see where I'm at? So I may do that as well when we're done. Just soak it. Again? But it's already blocked. Like, is it going to shrink back up again? It can. Like, I remember my flax. Like, it was super yeah, large. And I threw it in the dryer. And it changed the shape of it. So I wonder if I s soak this, it will loosen up <clears throat> yeah. and not be in this shape. That maybe sure. I could lay it out and not have it as... Maybe get another type of gauge. Same thing with this one. And not pin it down. Like, I pin these. So maybe if I don't... Um, pin them and I just let them kind of like lay uh -huh. flat. Well, because you're not going to pin your sweater. I'm, right. I may be able to change the, sure. the gauge and see if I can get a better fit for myself. Yeah, smart. Good. So I also have a sweater that I'm going to cast on for our Let's Hear It for the Boys Knit Along, which I have not done yet. Um, I swatched as well. I'm going to be doing the Flax by Tin Can Knits because yep. I've never done a sweater before. This is going to be my very first time. Um, and I know that it's a easy pattern. Um, it's quick. It's very user friendly. And Kevin's knit it, so I can ask him for. Yeah. Advice. No, it's it's a great first. Yeah. I think a great pieces. beginner's pattern. Yeah. This is really Isn't that really amazing? nice. Amazing. Yeah. It's really nice. Run. So I um, I swatched as well. And this is what I now the fabric seems a little holy here. I think you may have overly blocked it. I might have, which makes me a little bit nervous though because I got gauge. Oh, okay. Like, I got gauge. Um, but you also didn't do it in the round. No, but I didn't do it in the round. So, I mean, I, I have a lot of yarn. I got, this is from Knit Picks. Um, this is Knit Picks Swish. It's really her nice, guys. It's pretty. Look at the color. It's a good heathered. Yeah. Like a, burgundy almost. Yeah, it's, cranberry. Uh, it's, it's like a cranberry. Does it tell you? Yeah, right on the front. It does? Yep. Garnet heather. Oh, garnet. Yeah. Like it's a, very, yeah, very red. pretty. Yeah. It's, um, oh, it's so squishy. Oh, it's called, no, swish. Worse swish. It is 100% fine superwash merino. Yeah. Um, so it's super soft. So maybe I should do another swatch. No, I, I think I'm just going to go with it. I th So mine fit you fine. Yes. Right? The one that yeah. I knit fit you pretty and you well. Use this, uh, and I use this, the, the recommended the needle. Recommend so I think you'll be okay. Yeah. I think I'm going to. I, um... It, it's super soft. I mean, it, it looks like my, my stitches are pretty uniform. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to. No, I your think stitches gonna, look good. I, yeah, I think you could have, you may have overly blocked it. I from might what have. I remember seeing it pinned, I was like, wow, that's like. I know. I didn't know what I think to I do. Saw the never, block, I saw the blocking mat yeah. through it. I've never swatched anything before. But this is super, super soft. Oh, I missed my beard. That's like a pirate mask, yours. It is. Uh, or like one of those like belly dancer women's. <laughs> what are they? I forgot what the like. There's a name for it. Where wait? There's a from there's like a I movie. Dream a Genie or something. I know there's a movie where they went to. Oh my! Like one of my favorite lifetime cheesy Christmas movies with the chick from Pop Popular. 
on it. Remember, she's a she's a magazine writer, and her mother was like oh. on a boat, and it has um, Will's husband from Will and Grace, the cop. He was in it too, and he was a chef, and he was opening the restaurant. She was the food critic. Yeah, um, I, I haven't watched it in that. years, but it's 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 it was like one of those cheesy Lifetime movies. It's one of my favorite like cheesy. Yeah. Cr- I love cheesy They're Christmas so good. movies. Me too. That one's a good. One. I think there'll be Christmas in July soon. They'll probably be coming on. I don't know. I I haven't seen it on Lifetime. Yeah. I normally have to really search for that because I do try to watch it every year. Mm. So guess what? That's all the knitting. That's all the knitting content. Now, we well, have a, yeah, yeah. So all right. So why don't we talk about our longs. Our, our, our longs before we jump into our um this our owl post. Sure. Do you want to um do a random number and so we can pull a thing? So our first. Oh, I gotta go to that page. Yeah. First. Our first make along is the stress free make along. We're doing it in conjunction, conjunction, junction with um, Andrea from Hap, from um, the Cat Lady Podcast, Craft All the Things. Who, by the way, check her out um, on Instagram. She does have a website too, and I don't have my phone, so I can't tell you. But I did share it on my stories today. Um, her store went live. She's now she's dying yarn. Uh, we talked about it on our last podcast, but. She's officially live. She's got some really cool colorways. One of them, um, Earth Earth something? There's a pumpkin one too that I want. Yeah, pumpkin coffee. Yeah, she's oh. got some really nice colorways. So check her yep. out on Instagram. Um, I'm not quite sure what her website is. It will probably, we'll link it um, down below. And so you're are, in the wrong thread. I, am I going with um, stress-free just FO? Yeah. Okay. You can tell who does all the work. So, so and this is also um, so the Cat Lady podcast and um, Amy from Happy Little Yarn. We are running this kind of together, and it's really to get us through um, the summertime. We started it in April fifteenth, I believe it was. Yeah, I think so. And it's um, it's really whatever the hell you want. Whips are allowed. We have a lot of how many um, do we have? Boy, you, you have the so in our FO thread for the no stress smell, we have. 160 entries. Wow, that's great. We have a chatter so, thread and we have an FO thread. Can and I ask her to pick a number? Okay. Alexa, pick a number between 2 and 160. We ran the number between 2 and 160. 160 150. 150. Wow, we're right. down deep. So, um... We thought it would be a really, really nice thing to just have something where people can knit things and feel accomplished and um, give them something easy and simple to do. So really anything goes in this knit along or make along. So we have sewing projects in there. I didn't see any paper crafts yet, but those are welcome. We have, um, there's some beadwork, which was really interesting to see. Knitting, obviously, crochet. There was some bags. All right. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So, post 150 comes from Sarah's Nana. Aww. She knit up a Godric Hollows hat, oh. and she used yarn from Toad Hollow Yarns. It's mm-hmm. a red, and this is the hat. Oh, it's pretty. Yeah, let's see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There we go. Oh, yeah. There we go. We got it. Cool. That's yeah, very pretty. Yeah, it's very, very pretty. It's got a cute little palm on top to Love match. It. Very, very nice. Sarah's Nana. So where's Sarah's Nana? Sarah's Nana is in the tri... Oh, she made that for the Tri-Wizard Tournament. Oh, fun. Um. Oh, hold on. Sarah's Nana is in Bowie, Maryland. In Maryland? Yeah. Does she have a name? Sarah's Nana? Her name is Pat. Hi, Pat. Hi, Pat. Thanks for entering. Yeah. That's a great hat. Amazing. Really nice hat. Where yeah. did the pattern come from? The pattern is by M. Ramsalier. Okay. It's called the Godric's Hollow. Right? By M. Ramsalier. Ramsalier. Cool. Right? Awesome. And so that's awesome. So we're going to be running this make along until August 31st. Yes. We have... Um, oh, she's fast, too. She did it in a day. She started on June 8th and finished on June 9th. Good, good job. Good for you. She's got a Ravelry um, project page, which... She does. Which is great. I do feel completely out of my element without my phone. 
handy. Um, so we do have some prizes for that the uh, that knit make along. Yes. Um, from that's trilogy our trilogy yarn. yarn. Yep. Um, which is all the way across the room, and I can't huddle over all the stuff I have to my left, but we'll show that as we get closer again. Um, yeah, it's two yeah, skeins of yarn really from Nancy stuff. and Trilogy Yarn. Totally. Yep, we may have some other things to add to that as well. Do we? We might. We have some We have some party in our mailboxes. Yeah. Happy mail. Owl um, post. We have some owl posts. We do. Oh, so, and then we also have our, our other knit along. Yep. Which is our... I keep going and grab the microphone to drink my iced coffee. Yeah. Um, our Let's Hear for the Boys knit along, which started June 1st. June 1st. And is going to August 31st as well. It is a it's a knit along to just celebrate the men in the community. Yeah, kind of right because, yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, we we've talked about it before, and it's um, you know just to to get us out there, not us like us guys. Um, so male designers, male dyers, um, patterns that are written for men. Um, mm-hmm. So we just wanted to celebrate that really. So we've our, we got some cool prizes for that. We have some. We have a kit from Leading Men Fiber Art. Yeah, super exciting. Um, we actually did not post, and I apologize. We did not post your repository. No. So what I'm gonna, I, I do want to get that together because I was waiting to see, um, you know, if, uh, if we started getting suggestions and stuff. And yeah. now, like the the chatter thread and the fo thread is having quite a bit of activity now. Um, we have some finished objects. Um, people are doing like, so if you, for example, if you're interested in this, we also have a hashtag on Instagram. Yes. We're likely going to pull prizes from the Instagram hashtag and from our finished object thread. And me, if all goes well, if we have prizes and it should go from our chatter too. Yeah. I mean, I would, ultimately it would be great if, you know, if we had enough to give away to everybody, um, you know, to pull from all those all those areas. Yes. But now that we're having some um, activity, I am going. There's been a lot of suggestions yes. um, for male dyers. Then we just learned about one. Yes. Um, uh, red yes. stag fi- red red stag fi- fiber. Red stag fibers. Um, um, let me pull that up. That is Joshua. Yeah. He is. Him and his wife own a yarn store, and I want to say it, it's in Texas. Yes. Yeah. Um, Conroe. Texas, and then he started dying. So um, definitely go check out Red Stack Fiber. I've heard of them. Yeah. Before they actually, I we not this past episode, the last episode, Grocery Girls. I believe they were mentioned on there. And then oh, that's um, awesome. Yeah, and I want to say Avid Knits was knitting for a yarn store, a test. You know how she does the uh-huh. um, sample knits. Samples, yeah. I think she was doing a sample knit out of Red Stack Fiber. It was a green yarn, a, like f- almost like a month ago. Really, if I remember correctly. Oh, yeah. Um, so yeah, so check them out. So yeah, and then Dapper Dye, Dapper Dye Works. Dapper Dye Works, um, and then um, there's a lot of oh. there's a lot. So I I I apologize that we didn't get the repository up. Um, repository. but we repository. Maybe we should call it. Do something you know what's else. so funny is that the repository though is, um, with you saying that because I haven't mentioned this to you, the book that I'm reading. Mm-hmm. They talk about Area 51 in this in the book. It's, okay, you know, is a supernaturally book. Is the United States repository for all magical artifacts? Oh, how fun! So every country well, has repository their own is like, a real repository. Word. Yeah. No, I know it's a it's real like a ten word. point it's, word, guys. You so didn't it... just make it up for no, this. No, I didn't make it up. No, but I'm saying it's not something that you use in your daily conversations. I obviously, obviously, and it's funny that you said it without us talking about it and i've also been reading, reading. a book that huh. uses it well that's because we you know we're psychically linked not at all yeah we're um, meant to be together what else um so, uh, yeah, so i don't know so boys. yeah let's hear it for the boys so we have the uh instagram um hashtag which is natr boys, boys 2020 with an s sorry john no z john no but when you said that i was like yeah oh i, I know i thought the same z. thing i, I was know. like oh yeah yeah um so um so we have those going on we're really excited about it yeah um, i'm excited for the the let's hear for the boys. me too I, we've I'm, had a I'm lot of suggestions a lot of people oh my god there was a somebody oh that's what i want to say if so you double triple dip within the same within our like fo thread fo thread you, you can get triple up to triple entries if you do a pattern designed by a male using uh yeah. using yarn dyed by a male and a pattern for a male Right. Um, so we've had some people uh, enter more than one time. I don't think we've seen all three yet. No, we haven't seen all three. Mm. I know I just saw 
But I just saw that Double too. entry with the Stephen yeah. West draw. So just if you, when you're posting, um, post, you know, once for the yarn, then the second, you know, the same picture yeah. or whatever you use for, you know, and yep. so on and so on. And we'll use it as an entry. So it's um, really exciting. Yeah. So, um, yeah. and again, we have a straw kit. Um, that was graciously donated by Leading Men Fiber Arts. Which the yarn is amazing. It's so totally And it's perfect. been really exciting to hear people say like, oh, I just checked them out or I love their yarn. Yes. Um, you yeah. know, and we've heard of them. We we were waiting to, to purchase from them at, at Stitches United. Stitches United that was supposed to happen yeah. in March, end of March, I think, yeah. here. Um, yeah. Oh, and Rhinebeck is now canceled. Rhinebeck's canceled, guys. But they are going to do some vir- a virtual Rhinebeck, I guess. They are. I don't know how they're going to do that, but. Virtually. Thanks. So we'll see what that's all uh, about. So anyway, so those are our administrative stuff. Yeah. Um, speaking of, actually, go, let's go back to Let's Hear It For The Boys for a moment. Okay. Um, another designer that will, obviously, there's a lot that we know of. But another one, guys, to check out is um, Makers Knitting. Yep. Makers Knitting released a ebook for Pride Month. I believe there's eight patterns. Yes, of socks. One to represent every color of the rainbow. Mm-hmm. And for any purchases made throughout this month, correct? He's correct. donating 25% to, to the Trevor Project. Trevor Project. Which so, helps prevent, um, helps um, support or suicide prevention uh, among the gay community. So definitely go check out Maker Sending. LGBT. Yeah. Um, Maker Sending. I, I personally, I've used his pattern for the Wonderland socks. Mm-hmm. So. Um, but yeah, check out his new ebook. I will actually pull up the name of it right now. Yeah, I think it's just called Pride Socks. Um, you can search Pride Socks on Ravelry. Um, they should pop, pop up or Matt Acres, uh, Acres. A- Matt Acres. Yeah. Um, um, on it's Ravelry. called Pride Socks. Yeah. It has eight sock patterns. Um, we have a link. We'll have a link to it uh, in our show notes as well. And yeah, check it out. Great. Oh, look at this. Yeah, twenty five percent of the sales from the ebook and individual pattern go to the oh, Trevor. Oh, that's good product. to know because so, you could buy each individual yeah. patterns um, separately as well. And I believe the um, the whole ebook for all eight patterns is only like twenty bucks. Yeah, so definitely so that's go a really good price. Check it out. You know what I didn't know because I haven't looked at this before, so I thought this was cool. So um, each of the stripes have a different meaning. So yeah. pink is sexuality, red life, orange healing, yellow sunlight, green nature, turquoise magic, indigo serenity, and then violet is spirit. Huh. Didn't know that. Neither. So that's awesome to share that. Yeah, cool. Um, but yeah, go check him out. He, I've r- used one of his patterns. He writes his patterns beautifully. They're easy to follow. Uh, there were two that I saw right off the bat that I absolutely loved. Uh, so I do. I want to knit one, but I didn't have... It was the green ones. I really wanted to oh, knit yeah. his green ones. But I was going to use my Lolo Did It. But because there was black in it, I didn't want to use that. Like, I really wanted a true solid true. green uh-huh. for it. So that is one of my, like, dream knitting for socks. That's one of the pairs I really, really want to do. It's cables and stuff. And I know that's going to be time consuming. So I really want to do that one. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, okay. I wanted to make sure because that's another. There you go. That's another male um, designer out there that you can check out, make a purchase, and have some of your purchase go to a really great organization. So Awesome. Cool beans. Yeah. Great. Um, so now, now we can move on into. I will post. I will post. Break in the singing? bank. It's a little. I will post. It's a little break it's a in little the bank. Combination. It's a little. Um. It's a little bit of everything in this. Yeah. This little, this segment. So let's, mm-hmm. let's get going. So I'm gonna start, because okay. I have the. All right. So let's start with this. Actually, let's do this. Right. No. Let's start with that. Let's start with this. So, for my birthday, I got a very lovely shipment oh, are man. you all right it's the like crinkle indigestion it's the crinkle yeah but people like crinkle party well it, this is a crinkle party guys so i'm gonna try to make it really quick what look at that so i got ray here made a lovely purchase from one of our favorite dyers savvy skeins yeah and they put together a lovely set of yarn. I'm trying to... You know how, how good I am with my colors, guys. Yeah, So I mean, Allie was kind enough to... And patient enough with me so I have to help try to choose something for Kevin to make a nice fade. To do, do to with what I... Yeah, those three. Okay. Thanks. Welcome. So here we go. We have... Oh, wait. I'm not showing my really well. Six skeins of yarn to do a fade 
which is either going to be city limits. It's for city limits. Well, that was the intention. I mean, you can obviously use it for however you want to. So let's let's They're talk really about pretty. Our, yeah, no, they really are. So this is on um, her sensible sock base, yeah. which is 80 percent, 80, 20, 420 yards. So yeah. we will start with gray sky. Very pretty. Stop mm. focusing on my face camera. Oh, no. No. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> right. Okay. Then we have Castle. I love this one. Castle. So this is a very tonal gray, right? Castle has some grays, some whites, and some, like, burgundy, brown, purple-ish, maybe? No, maybe just looks, browns. Yeah. Maybe a little burgundy purpley like merlot no you're fine you're fine there we go beautiful then we have santa fe sunset sun santa santa fe sunset which i've actually loved this yeah I love i've that always too. wanted really to get pretty. this from her yeah this was like right up there with my russell wagon wheel mm -hmm. choice um and then copper pot which Ugh. Guys, my love for orange is really s strong lately. Then this one is Farm Boy. This one I love too. I me too. This is very reminiscent of like Rust of Wagon Wheel. Kind of. But a little more gray. Yeah. And some and I think the oranges are a little bit deeper. Mm -hmm. And so I I just look great. It's like less oxidized. Look, orange. I just love this. Yeah, me too. And then lastly, we have Moss on Oak. Which this is some light. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. Some oranges, some greens, some light ones. I love this color. Me too. So yeah, so this is going. I think to that's be... going to make. I, I mean, I, I would love. Obviously, the intention was for you to do city limits because I think that would be really interesting. Like because yeah. it's a fade, but it's not like a traditional fade. Yeah, I just have to. I have to. I would have to figure out. I'm still trying to figure out what in what sequence. Mm -hmm. Like I almost feel like this would go at top, the top my. So this, and then this. Yeah, I, I mean, honestly, like... And then this? Yeah, for sure. No, I think this. I was going to do this at the bottom with this. Really? These two at the bottom. Mm. And then these two together. Give me these three. Yeah. So maybe like this. I mean, Possibly. you can do whatever you want. Possibly. So that was my birthday gift from Ray, which was very, very nice. So thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Like, who doesn't love yarn on their birthday? Especially from Savvy Skeins. I know. Seriously. And she also sent... <gasps> we don't have them up here. What mm. squirrel... Beaver nuggets. Oh, beaver nuggets. They, guys, these are these, like, puffed corn mm. things that are then coated in, like, maple freaking syrup type. It reminds me... Of it tastes like a pancake, kind of. Yes. But then it reminds me of corn pops, corn pops. but sweeter. Yeah. They're delicious. Amazing. And I have never heard of them. Like, why is it that some of these products are only available in certain states? Right. We are an entire country. We should be sharing these products totally across the entire country. I don't think we're recording anymore. We sure are. Oh. Are we? Yes. We are at one hour and three minutes. Yikes. Um, so, yeah. yeah. Beaver nuggets. Beaver Del nuggets. Delicious. Beaver nuggets. Delicious. Buy them. And and love them. Buy two bags. If you live with somebody else, buy a second bag. One for you and one I felt bad because it was like your birthday gift and I'm like eating them. He's just chomping down like. They're delicious. They're, they're amazing. They're so good. Love so them. good. So thank you very much um, for that. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Very kind. Um, all right. So do you have any. So. Now let's go with our group purchase. We could show these because this group, is quick. The group of two. The group of two. So we had said that we made some um, dishy purchases. So we got this one's the the the, 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 the. Do you know what's funny? It's so weird that my stutter still comes out sometimes as an adult. Um, Not really. No, it really does. I I'll notice it here and there. Um, so when I was a kid, I had a really bad stutter, and I did the speech therapy thing. Um, but it does. It does come out here and there. I trip over my words a lot, too. So this is in Pebble. Washed out. 
You know what it is? It's the tag. If we got rid of the... Oh, no, it's not. No. But pebble. So this is a nice gray and white stripe. It's my eyeballs. And this one is... Sailboat. We're getting really washed out now. I think it, our lighting is changing. And then... This is... I'm excited for the solids. Yeah, we have some solids here. I want to do this. So this is Douglas fir. Yeah. That looks good. Yeah, it's actually the yarn. Because the yarn has so much weight in it, mm. that's what's blowing it out. Because now it's fine. Then this one is coffee. Because who doesn't love coffee? I actually think I'm going to use this one for um, some of Ross's patterns. Too, oh, good. It's... And this is... I can't pronounce it. Can be? Canab? Hmm. Can I? Because it's K-E-N-A-I. Let's see if it'll work. Yeah, who just said it? Can I? Yeah. Can I? Can I? Uh-oh, I heard the dog. Oh, Papa Roo's coming. Hi, handsome. Pepperoni. Where is he? Hi, oh, sweetheart. there he is. Hey, what baby. What are you doing? What's up? Huh? You gonna get some water? All right, so... Those are our purchases. No, I have one no. more. Okay, go on. So my last one. Guys, this, this is should, a lot. This should be enough because um, it should be enough time. I got my first enough shipment. Enough time for what? Since for everybody to get there. So this is going to be my first oh. shipment of my Downton Abbey Club Upstairs and Downstairs by Lolo Did It. This is May 2020. So this comes with, it says, The event that follows Mary through several seasons. The Pamuk incident i think that's what it says is the talk of both upstairs and downstairs the price of one's virtue is a great concern of the ladies of downton mm. so if Do you, you remember the panook incident this happens in season one okay absolutely can you show it already? yeah well i was gonna say if if you ha if you join the club and you didn't get it be forewarned because i'm gonna show it right now look away so you can look away Psh. So we have a full skein of this. Love. So we got some pinks and blues in there. Focus, focus. And this is a different. Um, it looks very different. It is a different base. <clears throat> I think it is. And then this one is Mary's Virtue, the mini. So this is a nice, just like tonal pink. 85% oh, no, extra fine superwash merino, 15% nylon. nylon. Yeah, so it's different than our It's a three ply. Uh, it's super soft and squishy. It is. It's really, really nice yarn. Yeah. Like this is I love really... this color. I would like this in a, in a skein. Oh wait, that looks pink. It is pink. Oh, it is pink. Yeah. It does. It's a little bit darker here. This one, I don't know if this one has I a I wouldn't mean, like that in Because it doesn't skein. tell me. But that one's called Mary's Virtue. This looks like a flower. It is kind it's of like very. A these are very feminine colors. And on her tag on the in, inside, she has the Kitchener cheat sheet now. Yeah. So that's cool. Yeah, it's a very feminine color. Mm -hmm. I think it would be... Um, this I might try to do like a one skein shawl. Great idea. At, and you can maybe use this for like a border or a something. A border or something. Mm, yeah, that would look pretty. Even some striping oh, yeah. somewhere maybe like in the middle or see if I can find something for that. Yeah. So if anybody has any recommendations for like a one skein shawl that maybe I could use these two in, um, let me know. Leave yeah, it in comments. Be really, I, bet I, I think it would be that. really, really pretty. Uh, th and this is what I'm going to do with this club. I, I anticipate it being very feminine or some sure. of the months. I'm hoping that when we get... I'm hoping to see, I think it'd be really cool if it alternated, like, so we got Mary's Virtue, and then next month is, like, somebody from below, but maybe the male, and then, or, you know, or something like that to, sure. to kind of give you an idea. Um, yeah. Because if I get three months in a row of, like, <clears throat> all feminine colors, I may cancel it. Uh, just, but we'll see. We'll see kind of where the club goes. Yeah. Uh, I think it's really pretty. I Honestly, I can see, I can see you doing, like, a lot of gift knitting with those. You know, yeah. So that's it for purchases. That's it for purchases. Anything going forward is things that have been gifted to us. Yeah, or we donated. Had, we had very generous. Yeah. Um, oh, I won a prize. So, oh yeah, go ahead. So I won something at Bingo with Fiber Hustle. I won. I got Bingo, and I won a bag, and my bag is from 
Fat Wolco, right? Yep. Yep. There's a, her card is inside. Her card's inside. Look at this. I believe these are echinacea plant flowers. Oh yeah. Yeah. This bag is incredibly, it's incredibly well, well made. Well made. Yeah. Like, totally. Guys, go check her out. Yeah. Comes with a little handle here, which is like strong. I love that little the little triangle. Um, the this. Yeah. It and looks I very feel like, like this is canvas. This is well a canvas made. down yeah. here. It's like thick. The inside fabric is nice. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, it's handcrafted wool for the comfort of home. The website is fatwoolco.com. There's a pocket in here. I don't know what size bag this is. Like but if it's you were a, to go to her yeah. site, but it's it's a huge bag. And there you have a nice pocket in the corner here. That wool co. Yeah. So yeah, go check sells. out um Check her out. She's out of uh, East Jordan, Michigan. Yeah. So she donated a prize and Kevin won. So that I was won. really nice. So that was yeah. great. So thank you. Um cool. Well, I mean, that's awesome of her to donate for it. So thank yeah. you very much. It's a great like this is such a good size bag. It's a really great size bag. Absolutely. All right. So now that, now we're on to um, do things that have been gifted to us. Yes. Yes. All right. So where would you like to start? Um, we should start with. Um, let's start with um, knit swag. All right. So this was this really, is really cool. exciting. Yeah, this is really exciting. So we got contacted by Kelly from Knit Swag, and Kelly makes kind of like is does graphic. Um, designing and she makes things for I'm going to actually pull up I just want to pull up her um, info so she makes like products for knitters so she will custom make it she'll custom design it to kind of look how you want yeah so she is yeah so she's a lifelong knitter she's a professional graphic designer and illustrator so she makes technically accurate knitting swag. So mugs, note cards, things of that nature. So she made us some custom pieces. And then she's also provided us with a coupon code for you guys for the next so two weeks. So exciting. So it's valid today through next Sunday, which is the, the 28th, 28th. Mm -hmm. um, for 15% off your purchase. So you get yours first because mm -hmm. I'll get mine ready. And our coupon code is NATR15. And, and that'll be in the show notes below as well. So yeah. remember, from starting from today... To the 28th, everything in her shop, 15% off if you use our coupon code. So this is huge, actually. And... Oh, it's so nice. Look how fun. So... It's... I'm going to hold this a lot closer. Yeah. So this is a huge towel. It's a, like a beach towel. Yeah humongous it's it's so thick super soft can you guys still hear me no well we're gonna turn it up to 11 turn it up to 11 and um oh sorry and look at up close how well done that is yeah with the knit stitches and stuff isn't that super soft yeah it is it's super super soft and her logo is on here too somewhere which is really fun Isn't that cool? So I don't, I mean, I love it. Yeah. Yeah, it's really, really nice. It's so nice. It's really cool. Yeah. All right. I'm going to wrap it around. And she has, um, oops. How do I look? Still trying to figure out how to wrap yourself in a shawl? No, I, look at, I got this. I feel like I'm in like the count. <laughs> anyway, love it. Um, Super so nice. and her shop is an Etsy shop. So we'll include the link. I know Ray said it. We'll include the link um, yeah. in show notes. So this, guys, I open this up and Here, I'm I'll like, hold it. oh, it's a mug. And I can see my name on it, which you guys can't see. Yeah. But then I didn't realize until Ray mentioned it. Let's see if this works. I'm going to spill hot water everywhere. Ready? Ready? Wait for it. Wait for it. watch nothing's oh. oh look at the magic guys <laughs> isn't that cool yeah 
So cool. And it says Kevin on both sides. Yes. So my name is on both sides. So that's pretty freaking awesome. So awesome. Yeah. Let's I love that. the colors actually. I know. I wish really that well. like. Let me just try to block out your eye, your face. The blues. There's like the dark oranges in there. So the colors suit me really, really well. Yeah. Um, and then she also showed some graph paper that she's designing, which people actually really love. Oh, she also has cards too. Um, oh, like, like greeting cards and stuff. How freaking cute! I know. Yeah, she left us a little message, which is really nice. And then she gave us a sample pack. I don't know how. So this is um, a knitting graph paper. Like graph paper. It's hard to see. There you go. No, that that's got it in focus. So, so it's all um, like stock knit stitches. Yep. So she gave us a sample. So this pack, is for us. And then we had a some knitters graph paper to give away as a prize. Yeah, to you guys. Yep. So we're gonna add this to our little prize collection. We will. So. And um. The, the good thing about this, I was looking at some of the reviews that people um, posted in her Etsy shop, which I um, encourage you guys to do as well. They say that um, for people who are doing like color work and stuff, it has the actual shape of the stitches. So you can see like how it's like how it's going to like, I don't, you probably, I don't know if you can see, no, you but can, like the, you can totally the, see. the lines here, like goes, you know, down. Yeah. Like in the middle of the stitch. Um, so you can kind of see like what it's going to really look like yeah. when you actually like design something. So really cool stuff. Yeah. I think yeah. that, yeah. So definitely check out, um, so it's knit swag. Um, yeah. So thank you, there, Kelly. There's bags on there. I saw the, um, mugs. She's got a lot of really, really fun, fun things. Um, so check her out for sure. Yeah. And again, that coupon code was NATR 15. NATR 15. We'll put that down below in our show notes. And that is good for starting today. Yeah. Through the twenty eighth for fifteen percent off your order. Absolutely. So that was so that was so exciting. That's I our first this. coupon code. I know. See, oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's so love good. it. Um, so yes, thank you again. Really fun. Really, really appreciate it. Yep. Um, and that was so that was knit, knit swag. swag. How fun is that? And our first coupon code ever. Yeah, that's exciting. Um, which is really exciting, guys. Love it. So hopefully, please take advantage of that. Yeah. Um, Check it'll out be our really shop. nice to support her and, you know, to use the, our very first. Coupon, coupon code. code. Cheers. So, and then I think that's it. Right okay, there. so we have, um, right. yeah, this actually just showed up today. today. Which was amazing. Um, so, Kathy. From What from Not Knitting. What Not. Which we've podcast. talked about her podcast before. Mm -hmm. um, she is from Australia. She also has a Etsy shop. Etsy shop as well. She's a yarn dyer. Sorry, she guys. Does, a lot like, of crinkle. In, like, crinkle first party. off, watching her podcast, she's not only a knitter oh, and a dyer. I, like she, like, what can't she, she does she do? some watercolor. Yeah. Right? Which mm -hmm. is, the watercolor is freaking amazing. Yeah, she actually, on her last podcast, I liked how she set it up. Well, I don't know. She just did a podcast. We haven't watched that one yet. But the one prior to that, um, at the end of her podcast, if you stuck around, she did a little tutorial of how she does her watercolor and yeah. stuff. Yeah, really cool. I didn't realize watercolor can be expensive. Yeah. Because she said cool. watercolor paper is expensive. Yeah. I didn't realize that. Yeah. I just remember water. I haven't done watercolor since I was like a kid out of a, you know, yeah. one of those books. I don't know. Well, so she sent um, she sent us, this is her, What Not. What Not. What by Not Kathy. by Kathy. Um, so, she's on Instagram. Yep. And her Etsy shop um, is What Not. One word on Etsy. Um, so we'll link I, that's, both of that's that. down below as well. That will be in show notes as well. So I don't even know what to show first. She sent, so she just really just sent us a, um, a little care, package. a little care package. And, um, just, she was just like, so like, just, I can't even. So the first things that let's do the, the yeah, those. that we saw, um, right. I, and these are so much fun. Like when we see like, like little I, treats I from Australia. Eat. I can't, I can't wait either. I can't wait to I mean, watch a movie and, or something we tonight try it now? and eat these. Like, what is it? No, what if we don't like it? I'm afraid. Anyway, so if Twisties, um, so she gave us Twisties. I don't really know what they even are. I don't know if they're like Fritos. I feel like they're going to be like I feel like they're going to be the Twisted Fritos. I feel can, like we need to, I'm going to open them. Wait, one. can we just talk about how I love that this has a health star rating on the front? Oh, this is definitely not a Frito. 
It's a, it has a two health. Is it more like um, a Cheeto? It's like a Cheeto. This is cheese. All right, I'm gonna try this one. Oh, it's yummy. Oh, it's yummy. Mine is chicken. Not yours, we, ours, we share. That's how the relationship works. <laughs> Don't smell it. <laughs> does it taste like chicken? It tastes like a, like a bouillon. It does? Yeah. And I love bouillons. Oh, oh, that's a good one. Okay. Yeah. These are delicious. Delicious is an understatement. So, so we have chicken and cheese twisties. These are good. How fun. I'm talking about chicken. Yeah. Take those away from me. Um, she also sent, which I don't want to eat these because I feel like I won't be able to talk afterwards. She sent these co things called fantails, Alan's fantails. They're caramel. Oh, I should send Viv shoes. pictures. Oh, you should. I bet she knows these. Viv is our friend from Australia. Yeah. Um, so we'll be digging into these guys as well. So this is really exciting. Yeah, I mean, we don't have to taste it. Like, you can't go wrong with chocolate and caramel. No, and I'm afraid, like, our, yeah. like I'm going to get, like, I'm not going to be able to speak after that. Um, so, also she sent a little, a little packet with, like, so, have you smelled these? No, but can we talk about how knitters are the bomb? And they're these, totally the bomb. You guys send out tea? And look how fun. She, like, oh there's a little, gosh. I know, I was going to make, the, see the little kangaroo? Golden, the gold kangaroo pin? So, this is Yogi Sweet Tangerine, tangerine Positive, positive energy. energy. Supports elevated mood and energy levels. Oh, truth. I still want to get that David's tea. This actually does contain caffeine, which is really exciting because I don't think a lot of herbal teas contain caffeine. No, most don't. Yeah. That's, it's really exciting. That smells lovely. Yep. Um, oh, Wait, you are no. kidding me. Our dogs don't come in here. There was just fireworks. Did you hear the firework? Son of a gun. I did shut that window today so that they yeah. didn't hear the kids in the pool. We might be right because it's not mm, like nighttime. Maybe. So it's it's cool. 2.45. I don't know what people are doing. So, this is, I believe this is a magnet. Oh my gosh, Cute. yes. Cute. It's so cool. Oh, I love it. Um, And then her pin with her logo. Cute. Cute, cute. Oh yeah, it is a magnet. Um, And then a little, did I show this yet? I don't know. How fun is this? Together, not alone. Isn't that so sweet? Yeah. Love, not hate. We not I, I love this a lot, and that's just like a little like note like note paper because on the back um, you can like write little notes or something on. Very cute. Very cute. Thank you. And lastly, then, and then and then where's that from? Mm, I don't know. A movie. Oh. Did you hear the crinkling? No, I almost had the movie in my head. Maybe it was a Margaret Chow. Maybe. Right, Mark? Is that no. what was her name? I don't know. Yeah, when she would like impersonate her mom. Oh God, she's the so comedian. funny. Yeah, I haven't she's seen so her in funny. A long Me time. neither. And she sent two sets of her minis. Of her minis, that she dies. Look how stinking amazing, guys. So, so let's talk about these. These are. There's five, they're five 20 gram skeins, which is 80 meters. Um, I, they don't have like names. Um, it's 85% merino, 15% nylon. Yep. Um, I'm assuming it's uh, machine or uh, gentle machine wash. So super wash probably. Yep. Um, so we got two of them. We're going to give one of them away. I think we're going to give this one away. Yep, we're going to give that one away. So, look how pretty. Keep yours away. <laughs> so, this one we'll give away. Oh, my God. Look how beautiful these yeah. are. I don't know for what. You know They're what? They're so soft. Yeah. I love them. And then we're going to... And then we'll keep this one for keep ourselves. Keep this one. Yeah. What? Tell me that... I guarantee you that one of these is going to work for our nomadic knits that we were just literally talking about. Our self striping. We, so these will definitely work for our um, heel toes and cuffs. So probably. great, yeah, great idea. Let's do it. Okay. All right. So cool. that's probably what we'll do. So we'll give this away. Um, so we'll add this to our little. Oh my God! How exciting! This yeah. is so exciting! Thank you. Thank you so much. So much. 
I, I can't Kathy. even. Kathy, you are So guys, check out her shop. Amazing. Again, we will have her shop. We'll also have a link to her podcast um, down, down below. So we, we've been trying to be pretty good about that podcast that we like. Um, that we mentioned, we also have links to their um, YouTube channels down below as well. Yeah. And if if if, if you we forget, if we yeah, if we mention something and you don't see it in our um, comment or shoot us yeah, a please, DM on just let um, ask us that place called Instagram. Yeah, the the egg, the egg. So that the is, egg. I think that's everything. That's um, that's everything, right? Yeah. So now we just have our um. It's like, a mess well, in here. It sure is. It's always a mess after this. Mm-hmm. Um. Now we just have our what we've been watching and reading and stuff like that type of thing Mm -hmm. section this is our entertainment section i don't know what i've been reading you've been reading the same oh well you finished you finished nora roberts i did the trilogy the i did and you know what i will say that i'm glad that it was over um i could have kept going if they yeah books I know. I was ready for it to be over. Not that it was bad at all. I loved it. I thought it was a great book. But I was ready for it just to end. And I was actually very glad um, to read something that came to an end. Yes. I find that I I tend to read things that ha- are like part of a series. Mm-hmm. And you never know like if it's going to be an ongoing series or, you know, like we started reading that. I was going to mention the same series yeah. today. Yeah. Um, Harley, it's Harley, Harley, Harley Merlin, Merlin and the something. Every Which book are is Harley great. Mer- Merlin yeah. and something. And I don't know who it's by, but they're great books. Um, but it just it just kept going, and like it hasn't, you know, it's it's still going. Yeah, it's still going. It's it, on like fifteen or something like yeah, that. Yeah. The. Which I I need something. I want to like tie things together. Right. Like I just wanted to like feel it, com- like I've completed something because a lot of times when you read these books, you don't have that sense of accomplishment, I guess, or completion of the story. So I was happy that they completed the story, and it was a very good story. It was a good ending, um, and so I felt really good after finishing it. And I did start another series, but I think there's only two books in the series, and I think there's oh, only going to be two books in the series. But you don't know the name because you don't have your phone? Correct. I will let you know next podcast. <laughs> well, no, we can put it in show. We typically, we actually, di- I don't know that I did that in the last one. No, but you didn't. We typically put it in show notes. So um, we'll put yeah. it in show notes. Okay. Um, and then I am, it's so funny that you mentioned Harley Merlin. So I am, I just finished last night. I finished book four in the series that I was reading. Mm-hmm. Um, and this is the book. Eight. Hi. I thought I heard you. Hi, sweetheart. What's up? There was a boom, huh? Mm-hmm. Um, so this one was called hello? A Vigil in the Morning. And not like morning, like you're mourning somebody. So it was book four in the Soul Bond, Soul Bound collection. And it is by Haley Turner. Haley so, or Hallie? Ha- Haley. Come on. Give us like just a couple more minutes. So my concern with the series is, and I thought that book four was going to be the end. My concern with this series is that it's going to be very much like the Harley Merlin series that you had mentioned where it, was just it just going didn't and end. Going and, going. and the thing with the Harley oh. Merlin series that I didn't enjoy, um, and I agree that, yes, we need a series to end, but the in Harley Merlin, the big bad remained the big bad through six to seven books where look it, at his face he's he such a haircut a so hot bad mess. oh my gosh he looks like he spent the whole night at the bar he was there <laughs> till five o'clock in the morning and he's just heading into work now baby Poor you guy. need a haircut we did try to give him a haircut and, and that failed too it. um so my concern is that this book's going to go the same exact way this series is that they're the big bad isn't going to be um dealt with for another, you know, however many books. And I don't, I love the characters, but I don't want to go that long. So um, I got to figure out what to read. I'm actually thinking of reading The Witchling, book one again. Are you? Yeah, I oh, love. they're so good. I felt like um, I needed a pick-me-up type of book, one with a positive message, one that would inspire me. And that one always does. Whenever I need that, I go to that book. Yeah, um, yeah I agree. It is called... A Modern Witch, which isn't in production anymore. I uh, I've talked about it before. That whole series is actually what got me knitting. Um, and there's two characters in there, one Lauren and one of them Arvin. And their interaction just 
it brings me so much joy Mm -hmm. reading them um i find that i smile i love a book where i can smile or it actually makes me chuckle uh oh you oh what he smells the um Oh, the cheese. The cheese. Tarquin has a... Uh, he's a cheese addict. He is a cheese addict. Right? You love your cheese. Maybe you could get a piece tonight. Huh? Not one of those. No, a piece of cheese. Oh. Right? Maybe you get a piece tonight. Tarquin doesn't eat human food. No, he... As he much does. as he wants to. Yeah. He gets baby carrots. Is he much. gets baby carrots. Yeah. No, he gets baby carrots, apples. He'll do broccoli, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. peas, yeah. cheese. Right? All right. Can we I love try you. things up? Um, Can we tie things up? So that's what I was reading. And then watching, I did a bunch of watching. So I'm just going to like power through. We did do a lot of watching, yeah. um, The watching. So I did, I watched the movie The Way Back with Ben Affleck, where he um, is trying to get his life back together. I highly recommend it. I thought it was a great movie. Um, I watched the TV show Sweet Magnolias on Netflix. um, Some of the acting is questionable, but it was a good show. I enjoyed it. I watched it in two days. There is a newer version of Voltron, the cartoon. Voltron's oh, one yeah. of my favorite cartoons as Mine a kid. Too. I this newer one, I rewatched it and it was really good. I love the story with this one and how it stayed true to some of the characters, but um, added like obviously more depth. There was a way better story with uh, with um, like Zarkon and and that whole thing. So I finished that off this past. We week. did watch the first episode of the original Voltron. That is- Boy, the voice acting there. Yeah, it's definitely good. left something to be desired. Yeah. Um, and then I watched. I've been watching a bunch of movies. I watched Beastmaster, the Beastmaster, way back nineteen eighty two. It's one of my favorite movies as mm. a kid. Um, and what else did I watch? Batman. We both watched Batman Begins. Batman Begins. I watched Batman: The Dark Knight. Mm-hmm. Um, I've watched. I've I've watched a lot. I've been watching. A, I've been doing a lot. I wa- watched another episode of The Last Kingdom on Netflix. I've been watching, oh, Hightown on Stars. What's Hightown? Oh, my gosh. It takes place in P-Town. Um, it has the main actress. You and I know her from Lie to Me. Most people, if they do know who she is, will probably know her from Chicago 911 or no, Chicago Fire. Chicago Fire. Um, but it, it's very good. It's about murder and drugs, pretty much. Murder, drugs at P-Town, so partying and stuff like that huh. which i mean not that that's all that happens in p-town but i've never been neither, I, neither have uh, I. but just whenever whatever people refer to it that's normally what that what they bring up uh yeah. so that's been pretty good and i think that's, that's what i can remember there's just been a lot of watching mm-hmm. going on in my life especially with work now that we don't you know we don't take phone calls um it just makes it a lot easier to makes your day go by a little bit faster. Yeah, and 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 I've been watching. I started when we started this quarantine. I didn't watch TV when I was working. Now I'm a little more in a flow, so I can. Sure. So I watch things that I, I tend to watch things that I know that I can watch. So I started uh, I started watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer, my favorite show oh, yeah. of all time. Um, I had started it back a while ago. I'm in season two, so I started picking that up again yesterday, so I could watch that while I work. Right. Yeah. But that's all I got. Um, I think that's all I got too. We were watching some podcasts. Yeah, we watch. Um, we're a little behind actually. We, we are. We've taken like a, a three day break, three or four day break from watching podcasts. Mm-hmm. So we do, but we do our normal like, five. You know, I don't know if we've watched any of. So Fiber Hustle hasn't come out with a new one. No, but I think they're working on one. They are. Uh, Sweetie No Shade. We watch. Yep. Um, Cozy Up Knits. We haven't caught up on Grocery Girls. Uh, we always do. Um, I don't think we did crazy. No, we did um, the Cat Lady last week. We haven't done the, the most mm-hmm. recent one because it came out early. Mm-hmm. Um, we did knit all the yarn. Knit all the yarn. Yeah, with Lisa. Urban yarn with Gary. Yep. Um, but she's taking part in our. We knit actually along, have to watch. Nice. Um, we're behind on Knit for Brains um, podcast. Hi. So right. we have some stuff. We have some ones to watch this weekend. So um, we can you say know, goodbye. But yeah, we have our our norms that we watch. Yeah, right. So um, I I can't believe that we're I'm going to say this, but we're creeping up to almost three thousand subscribers oh now, gosh, yes. which is mind boggling to me. Um, so if you do like what you've seen, um, give us a, a little thumbs up, not the thumbs down, and subscribe. Um, and then if you know. If we do hit 3,000, we'll probably do another live. Yeah. I think they're really fun to do, and I like to do them for, like, the, you know, special occasions. We'll do a little, like, live. Um, yeah. Tarquin's staring at himself. Did you see that? 
No. Oh Did my you stare gosh. At yourself? He was um I FaceTimed with my sister in law and my niece on Monday and they want to see him. They always want to see him. So I flipped it around and he was like staring at the phone to them. Hmm. Whenever they would talk to him. You're such a mess, Tart. He needs a haircut so bad. You need your you hair cut? You need your hair cut? You need all your hair cut, huh? Oh yeah. yeah. You do. Mm. So anyway, that's that. That's that. Um, um I don't know what else. Yeah, no, that's, that's everything. Enough. So um yeah, so comment, like, subscribe, yeah. dislike, hit us up on Instagram if you'd like to. Uh, and we'll and, see you in a fortnight. Yeah, in a fortnight. Yes, we will see you guys in a fortnight. Yeah. I hope everybody has a great week. Um, have fun knitting or crocheting or whatever it is you're going yeah, to do, do your to keep thing. yourself busy. And uh, thanks for mm-hmm. hanging Say out goodbye. with us. Say, Say bye, Tark. All right, bye, guys. Bye.